I am actually in Excalibur in Chicago, Illinois, which is known for being one of the most haunted places in Chicago. The different types of evidence that someone can get during an investigation can vary, but I always try to use all the resources I have, not just my abilities, because I'm also a ghost investigator. And I like to think scientifically also. I think sometimes people won't even still take your word for it. Even if they see it on TV, they'll watch, oh geez, maybe they're just faking it. Well, we're not faking it. So that's why we throw in electronic equipment. That's why we throw in certain things as EMF detectors, you know, scanners, night vision, and electronic voice phenomena, getting on tape recorders. If we can get other forms of scientific evidence that supports what we're feeling, what we're sensing, what we're experiencing, then it proves to not only the viewer, but it proves to my co-host that there's something going on. What I'd like to show you is some of the stuff that I take with me when we do our investigations. Now in this case here, I've got a, a bunch of items, as you can see. This here is a non-contact thermometer. What it does is it picks up temperatures. This is great for identifying cold spots and getting a reading. You basically just point, you click, and it gives you a reading. Another thing here is digital camera. Now this is very important, especially when you put it into infrared. Our visual spectrum is limited. Well, we know that there are things outside of that. There's infrared, ultraviolet red, x-rays, gamma rays, radio waves, and microwaves. Well, we can't see that. Therefore, since we can't see that, there's, there might be something else there. When you use this, you hope that you get some types of anomalies. Very important to have along with a tripod. EVP, what's called electronic voice phenomenon, is actually unexplainable sounds or words that you get recorded on an electronic device. You don't hear it when you're there, but when you play it back, there's a voice there that's not you or anybody else that's in the room. Now I've got a bunch of different cassettes and digital recorders here for getting EVPs. It's amazing is when you can get a voice that sometimes will answer questions. You're asking questions, you get answers. There's no one else there. Hello, there's someone there. You're just not able to see them. There's someone Probably one of the most startling and the most perfect A-grade EVP that I got was at Alcatraz. Uh, the director goes, I want you to go sit in the cell, it's in the uh, D block, which was considered one of the most haunted areas of Alcatraz. I'm sitting in the cell in complete darkness all by myself. There's nothing happening. I'm getting us upset. I'm like, you know what, I see ghosts as a kid, this and that, there's supposed to be ghosts here, people are afraid to go in the cell. Come on, ghost, do something. Who's going to come forward? I started antagonizing, hopefully something would be there. Nothing really happened, you know. We wrapped up, went home. Uh, during the next couple weeks, I was analyzing all the video and audio. Listening to that segment, I'm listening to myself antagonize. All of a sudden, a voice says, I'll face you. A male voice, sound like an older gentleman, his late 40s, early 50s, pretty rough, gruff. I jumped out of my seat because it was clear as day. Other forms of evidence that you can get during an investigation is photos. You always want to bring a camera, whether it's a digital camera or whether it's a 35 millimeter, to take plenty of pictures. Now we all know in any type of photography you take many, many, many pictures and you only use a couple of them. Same thing in getting any type of anomaly, is you want to take a lot of photographs. As long as it's not artificial, it could be considered an anomaly. Anomaly then therefore goes into category that it's something that can't be explained, which some people will then therefore say it's a ghost. The other thing that I have here is, goes back all through history, simple device dowsing rods. Now these things have always been used for to locate water, to locate items, tell you what the weather's going to be like. Are you over on this side? Where are you located? Point in the direction that you're at. See how it's crossing? X marks the spot. Using this technology, we are able to now get into those realms, we're getting just at the tip of the iceberg and understanding that there's something else out there. I think it's just a matter of time before we can just like pick up a walkie-talkie or a phone and we can talk to somebody.